I'm here to show you how to restore color to an old faded photo. These are old photos taken probably over 40 years ago of the Grand Canyon. They've been scanned at 300 dpi. First thing, as I said before, let's always duplicate the layer. We're using Photoshop Elements 11. I'm using Expert. I'm going to be showing a few tricks in here. I want to create adjustment layers. They're a non-invasive way of fixing one. The first thing that I always do is do the Enhance and I go to Auto Smart Fix and we can see how it's instantly better. You shut it off. In the 11, if it's off, there's a slash going through the eyeball. It's no longer transparent. So we like what we have here. I want to talk about the adjustment layers. I go into here. Some of them work, some of them do not work. Like if I do the invert, this is great if I want to do something in Mars. You might want to do that effect. I don't want it. I just drag this into the garbage can up here. Or I could right click, left click on the word delete. I'm going to go into other adjustment layers here. First one I want to go into is hue saturation. You get this little panel showing up here. And if you colorize, it makes it monochrome. That's nice if you want to create something that looks like an antique photo. And we can go into here, pull things around. It, it previews the photo quite literally. Channel, I can go into the red channel. Not seeing a lot, but if I pull it way over to the right, you may see something here. Greens, and if it doesn't work, just delete that layer. As you can see I get all these greens here. I'm going to leave this alone. So I'm going to go back into the master and just work with this. I could saturate the color a little more. I'm not saying it looks better or not. I'm going into the lightness here. I shut this off, turn it on, a little richer. A lot of this is personal preference. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to click on the layer. If I want to create the adjustment layer, you've got to be on the actual layer that you're adjusting, not onto an adjustment layer. You can't adjust an adjustment. So I go into levels. I can make this a little darker, a little lighter. I can work with the red, the green, and the blue. Ooh, I don't like that. Pull that over. Triangles here. Let's say I'm just being dramatic here. Green. Don't want that. Pull that over. Not green enough. I can go over to the far right. Leave that alone. Go into the blue. I always work on the middle one first. Okay, we can pretend that we love that. Actually, it doesn't look bad. If I shut off this top layer here, and I'm going to shut off all the layers on top, this is the first layer here. We go into this one, turn it on. This one here, turn it on a little better. Turn this one on a lot better. Let's see if there's any other adjustment layers we can use here. Posterize. This is good if you're working with something like a lighthouse, something with not many levels. This actually looks like a photo right now. And what it does, it turns each car, car or breaks this into like 43 different colors here. If I make this like two, it's just very... So if you want to get some cool effect, that can be fun. I don't like this. I can just click on it, drag it to the garbage can. It's gone. Back over here. Any other layers here. Brightness contrast you could use. Make it brighter. Darker. In decrease the contrast. Increase the contrast. So we've got that all done. Uh, next thing I want to show you. This is another way of doing this. We don't have, we have this layer in Photoshop, not Elements. If I go into Curves, Enhance, Adjust Color, you got a lot of things in here. Adjust Color Curves. And 
it has like darkened highlights default it has other things here that you can put in here you can't click on these things as you would with Photoshop however if I go over here I like curves a lot uh, it does a lot for the photo and you can see the before and the after here I say okay so again I'm shutting off all these layers on the top here this is the first one here this is with the curves the brightness a little bit a little bit more with the levels the hue saturation does a lot you don't like one now this is the beauty of this you've done a lot of work with these three adjustment layers I've got this other photo over here I'm gonna close this out I don't need it now I have this other Grand Canyon picture duplicate it enhance the color now watch this it doesn't have to be the same size one could be two by two the other one let's say six inches by two inches the proportions okay what I do here I go into here I hold down the control key I highlight these three layers I'm on the move tool over here I take my mouse click and drag it into here and you're gonna pick up the same effect these were taken on the same day now let's say I want to change a couple of things in here it's just a little bit too bright or whatever I could go into the brightness thing here I just double click on there I could change the brightness darken it change the contrast here I go over here change that I can customize it but if you have a batch of pictures I double click there I could have renamed it there but I could change the hue just a little bit there but if they're all taken with the same lighting all let's say on one day on December 3rd 1976 you're going to get good results. Don't combine pictures from December 3rd, 1976 with something that was taken in 1992 uh, unless the lighting is very similar. So if you've got a batch of photos, it's a great way to do the retouching and to turn these pictures into what they once were.